We have a broad variety of insurance bad faith cases that we handle. A big part of our practice has to do with health insurance policies and denials for medically necessary uh, health insurance uh, protocols, treatments, surgeries, uh, whatever, a lot of cancer cases. We also do a lot of homeowners cases. We did a lot of work out of the Northridge earthquake, for example, and we're doing now a lot of cases arising out of the wildfires all over the state. In addition to that, uh, a big part of our practice has been having to do with the duties of an insurance company to defend people when they're sued on their li third-party liability coverages, whether it's automobile coverage, commercial general liability policies, intellectual property cases, uh, all of those types of cases are what we handle. And then finally, a big part of our practice also has to do with personal injury litigation, but specifically the duties of an insurance company to someone who is a defendant in a, a, in a personal injury action when there's an opportunity to settle the case for within the policy limits. That's a big part of our practice. We call it the excess verdicts where someone goes to trial because the insurance company has elected not to settle the case and basically roll the dice. And then the outcome of the case is such that the verdict exceeds what their insurance is and their rights against the insurance company in that setting. When you're looking to hire a lawyer, particularly in the personal injury field, you want to make sure you have somebody who's going to work on a contingency fee, a lawyer who's going to invest not only their time, but also their money and efforts into getting a successful resolution for your case, because then you're really partners going into that case. Um, both of you are seeking the same thing, the best result possible. I think anyone looking to hire a personal injury attorney um, should look to somebody who has a track record somebody who's been in court, who's been to trial, who's gotten verdicts, who's gotten results. Because at the end of the day, you want to make sure that the lawyer that you hire is prepared to take your case every step of the way to a jury verdict. That's not to say that all of them go to trial because a lot of cases do settle. But the only way you're going to get the maximum and, and uh, righteous result in a settlement is if you're prepared to go to trial. And sometimes you have to go to trial to get the just result for the case.